Hello everybody, my name is Gamecraft and welcome to a new Minecraft series that I'm going to start. The series is going to be about Minecraft plugin tutorials, to be specific bucket and spigot tutorials. And of course, I also will include some server installation guides to help you set up your own server and set up an environment that is good for installing and using plugins. So let's first launch off this series with the basics and the basics are in this case obtaining the server files in this, and with that spigot server files. In order to get those we need to install build tools. Probably in 1.7 in that time period you can for example remember that you need to download the actual file from a link. Now in now that's not the case anymore because in 1.8 Spigot launched build tools. Build tools is in this case a builder which lets you generate on your own computer every Minecraft server version that you want. So ranging from 1.8 till the latest version which is now 1.9. To jump right into the tutorial to install build tools we first going to talk about some dependencies. Dependencies are things that you have to install in order to use build tools. And to jump right into them, you need Git and Java. Java is self-explaining. You need Java too in order to run Minecraft. But in this case, you need specifically Java as a runtime environment. The links, etc., of all the sources that I mentioned here will be linked down in the description. So don't worry that you're not able to find them back again. Now, important thing about installing the runtime environment is that you have to look at what kind of operating system you have. Windows, Mac, Solaris, or Linux. In this case, I'm only going to talk about Windows, and specifically Windows 64-bit, because that's my system. So if I would need to install this runtime environment, which I already have done, I need to click on this link, because that fits my operating system. I'm not going to bore you with these tutorials of the dependencies, because they're all self-explaining, and they have all a written guide for you to do. So I'm going to close down them one by one. Git, in, uh, besides Java, Git is the other dependency. Git is an online version control system, or better, just a version control system. And it lets you connect through an online repository and retrieve the files from an online server. And in this case, you can translate that into normal language. Spigot has a project called Build Tools. They put it on Git online, online repository that they manage their own. And we install git to lay contact with that repository in order to download the build tools files so when you install git it will give you the option to open a terminal like this and we will talk about that terminal later in this tutorial when we're actually going to use it like java i'm not going to explain a step-by-step -step tutorial to install git it's self-explaining it has its own guide which is really good so installing it's not that difficult but i'm not going to tell you how you can do it specifically because that's not part of this tutorial so to come back to build tools we straight jump into the tutorial itself you have two options to download the build tools files you can either use this direct link which is linked here on the spigot website and it will give you the build tools.jar but what you can also do is use the command to retrieve it what's the benefit of the command you can use the command in the folder in which you're going to install build tools on the other hand if you use the link you need to copy it from the downloads folder to the folder that you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this command here at step two going to the folder that i want in this case i made a folder called server jars right click it and you'll see an option called git bash here if the option is not there, then your Git is probably not installed correctly and I highly advise you to install it again. And if you click it open, the terminal that I mentioned before pops up. Let me increase the size of the letters for you guys. And what I do next is right click and paste the command that I just copied. And I remove the last part because that's a placeholder of an actual URL. Now, maybe you guessed it already, the URL that we need to place in there is the URL mentioned above in step one. So you copy that with Ctrl C or right click copy, go to your terminal again and right click paste. 
and then hit enter. What it does, it retrieves the build tool file, literally the same as what you do here, but it does it in the file in the folder that you are made for it, so you don't have to copy it over from the downloads again. One warning, don't click on this file because you need to activate it by command, and that command is the following jvajar buildtools.jar. So you go back to your terminal again right click and paste there is a sub command for this you can for example if you want to install 1.8 version of minecraft uh, spigot server you can add the following to it which is rev and then the version that you want so 1.8 but it can also be 1.1 with 1 or 1.9 even but for now we're going to stick with the default installation and that will install or generate the version that is set solid in the build tools files and settings so and that i guess it's 1.8.8 so if we enter here it's going to do a bunch of things and I'm going to save you guys the process of that because it will take a minimum of five or maximum of five minutes. And yeah, it's not that nice to watch. So when it's finished, we will continue this tutorial. But for now, I'm going to skip this part. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, the process of the building of the build tools has been finished. And if you doing the same thing then you should see this message and then you know that everything went well so let's take a look in our build tools folder and see that there is a lot of stuff going on in here now you have a lot of folders but the most important parts are these two craft bucket 1.8.8 and spigot 1.8.8 those are the actual server charts that you need in order to generate your own server so one tip don't change these folders and if you want to update your build tools uh, program remove this jar file download the newest one from the link above there and then hit command again like you did before and then it will update the folders that have changed and that's it and it will not take five minutes anymore it will be way quicker than this but for now we're going to focus and continue on creating your own server so that was part one of this installation so now let's continue to part two so we go to our service folder spigot and we create a new folder called spigot 1.8.8 you can name it wherever you want it's not something that you have to exactly type over it's just for me to organize my folders I'm going to paste the spigot jar into it and let's check if i did not forget anything no and what you can also do, by the way, is you can also create an old folder called old builds in which you can place, for example, a build of 1.8 so you get everything organized and you only have the latest version in your main folder here. So to go back to the server, we have spigot 1.8.8 jar. In order to activate it, we need some kind of start button. So in order to do that, we need to create a text file. And the text file is going to be called start. But what we're going to place into start, we can copy from the official Spigot installation guide, which you can find here. And what we need to copy is this part. And as you can see, max perm size is no longer supported in Java 8 or above. So we are going to remove that part there. So copy it, go back to your text file, paste it and open my folder too. And the things that we need to change are this part because it's no longer supported. And the other part is this thing. That's the name of the jar file that we're going to trigger. And in this case, we have to add 1.8.8 because that's what it's called there. So we save this. So file save, exit out. Now we need to change the .txt to, to a bat file in order to make it clickable. So bat, do you want to change for sure? Yes, we want. And as you can see, the icon of it changed, which means that it successfully changed into a bat file. So 
click on start and it will run our server. It will stop immediately because as you can see in the message we first have to accept the end user agreement of Minecraft. So end user license agreement by the way <laughs> to be exact. So we open the eula.txt change this to true, hit control S to save or hit save there and then hit start again so we can close this one start again and, and now it is supposed to be generating your own files which is correct and as you can see it's generating the and preparing the spawn area and it should display a message with done when it's entirely finished and there it is done hit question mark or help to get any help from the spigot file itself but now we're going to open our minecraft add a new server called minecraft plugin tutorials tutorials and server address is local host for everybody that's your local address of your computer so it's not connected to internet so only you can join to it and there you get it 20 players available and if i join it I'm joining my own Minecraft server and there you have it I'm now in my own 1.8.8 server generated by build tools and in combination with git and dependency of Java and to give you proof that is 1.8.8 slash version and there you have it 1.8.8 you are 126 versions behind because yeah 1.9 is of course out so that was the tutorial for today and my launch of my new series so ooh, that's a nice bunny there so hopefully it is a useful guide for you to use for your own server and if you have feedback or you want to request a plugin that you need to do either spick it or bug it make sure to put it in down in the comment if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and if you want to know more about the future and keep track of this series or my channel make sure to subscribe so have a nice day and thanks again for watching my video